What is up everyone, this is Ken from Wheelchair Tutorials and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'll be showing guys how to use your Wii U GameCube controller adapter to work on the emulator called Dolphin on your computer. And yes, this does work with WaveBird wireless controllers. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to take the two USB ends on the end of the Wii U controller adapter and plug them into two free USB ports on your computer. With both USB ends plugged into your computer, your computer should now install the default drivers for the Wii U controller adapter. With the default drivers installed for the Wii U controller adapter, you now must go to the description below this video and click on the link that will bring you to a web page that looks like this. This is the page for a program called Zodig. Now Zodig is what we'll be using today to replace the drivers on the Wii U controller adapter so Dolphin can recognize the adapter as a GameCube controller. Now Zodig is free so it doesn't cost you anything and you may recognize this program from my previous tutorials for the PlayStation 3 controllers or PlayStation 4 controllers. If you guys want to have a look at the PlayStation 3 or 4 controllers the tutorials that I have done for them, you can click the I in the top right hand corner of this video and you should see a link to both of those videos. So what we need to do is we need to go down to the download section for Zodig. You can either click the link for Windows Vista or later, which we'll be using today because I'm on Windows 8.1. Most of you will probably be on Windows 8.1 or 10. If you're running Windows XP, you have to click the link below that for Windows XP. I'm using Windows 8.1, so I'm going to click the one at the top. And once you have downloaded Zodig, go ahead and open it up. You can close your internet browser now. We no longer need your internet browser. So in Zodig and in my previous tutorials, we used to use a configuration file that we had to load in the device section. Now with this tutorial, we do not have to load any configuration file. Now the next step that we have to do is we have to go to the options panel and list all the devices that are connected to our computer. Now go to the drop down menu below that and the device you're looking for is WUP-028. That is your Wii U controller adapter. If it is not showing up, the default drivers were not installed correctly and I recommend that you try two different USB ports on your computer. Now, if it's on that list, go ahead and select that device and all you have to do is hit replace driver. It will ask you if you want to replace that driver and you're modifying a system driver, just click yes. Once the driver has been installed, it will let you know. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make sure that Dolphin recognizes your Wii U controller adapter as a GameCube controller. Now this can be used for up to four controllers if you have the official Wii U controller adapter. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up Dolphin just to give you guys an example of the Wii U controller adapter working in action. So if we go to controllers and if we go to GameCube controllers in port 1, you can see that I already have the GameCube controller adapter for Wii U selected. Now go to configuration and there's a few options, there are not too many. There's to enable rumble or you can simulate the Donkey Kong bongo drums. So if you want to use the Donkey Kong bo uh, bongo drums with the controller adapter on your PC and you're emulating the uh, Donkey Kong Konga game series, then you can do that. That's perfectly fine. And you can also do this for up to four controllers on the GameCube controller adapter like so. So that's how you connect your GameCube controller adapter to work on your PC using Dolphin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to let me know of them in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer all the comments for you guys. And as always, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, click the two boxes on the left and the right up there. One is the eight years of YouTube anniversary vlog that I did, and the other one is me reacting to my older videos as a celebration video as well. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.